Many times when you see a chronic uncontrolled diabetic patient, you would realize that the mid segment, that is the tummy and the mid portion of the body, they appear very broad, but the hands and legs appear very thin. This is because the muscles in an uncontrolled diabetes can actually shrink in size. Why does this happen? Well, in diabetes, what there is insulin deficiency and what insulin does is that it picks up the glucose from the blood and puts it inside the cells of the body. So if the blood sugar is high, that is if there is insulin deficiency, the blood sugar remains in the blood but cannot go inside the muscles. So the muscles are chronically starving. Add to this, diabetes causes extra oxidation in the body because of oxygen free radicals. This leads to what is called inflammation. That is, there is a chronic inflammation in the body. This also damages the muscles of your entire body. And finally, diabetes utilizes vitamins at a much faster rate. And at the same time, we advise a patient to eat less because of the control of the blood sugar. And that is why the vitamin deficiency also sets in. So we have a combination of three factors. That is one, the muscles are chronically starving because they cannot get blood sugar. The second is a chronic inflammation. And the third, that is vitamin E, vitamin D and multivitamin deficiency. All these factors leads to gradually the muscles shrinking in size or what is called atrophy. Now this happens in large group of muscles, that is the proximal muscles and that is called proximal myopathy. But it can also occur in the distal muscles of the body. And that is why there is a low muscle mass in chronic uncontrolled diabetes. Lesser the muscle mass, more is the blood sugar and more the fat mass, more is the blood, uh, blood sugar. And that is why the aim in diabetes is to have weight loss and the total body fat mass reduction along with a muscle mass gain. So how do we counter all these things? The best way to counter is to have a 24 hours perfect blood sugar control. That's the most important therapeutic goal. The second is to have a lot of supplements because there is vitamin deficiency in the body. And the third is exercise and that is weight training or muscle building exercise. So because of weight training exercise, the muscle bulk can increase. And the fourth is a slightly high protein diet. A combination of all this will help in actually improving the muscle mass. Also, some degree of isotonic exercises like walking, jogging, running, swimming, cycling or calorie burning exercises. This helps in improving the blood flow to the muscles. So all this helps in improving the muscle mass and countering the effect of diabetes causing atrophy or myopathy of the muscles.